Uh, welcome to our channel. In this lesson, I want us to discuss uh, from four chemistry, topic radioactivity. Uh, subtopic number one, we discuss uh, uh, radioactive decay series. Number two, half-life. Now, objectives of the lesson. Uh, number one, we need to know the uh, definition of decay series. And we must be able to do some calculations involving uh, radioactive decay series. Number two, we must be able to define half-life and do some calculations involving half-life. Number three, we must be able to know how to calculate original amount and remaining amount when we are given half-life and total time taken. Now to start with, we have radioactive decay series. This is a continuous uh, and sequential disintegration of an stable nuclide until a stable nuclide is formed. Now, a disintegration where an stable nuclide is involved and this disintegration is continuous and uh, sequential until a stable nuclide is formed is what we call a radioactive decay series. Here we have illustration of a decay series. You can see we have a nuclide of U with a mass number of 238, atomic number 92, disintegrates to form uh, a nuclide of T with a mass number of 234, atomic number 90. So the particle that is released here is one alpha particle. Why? You can see the mass number has reduced by four, while the atomic number has reduced by two. So this is alpha, one alpha particle. Here we have T disintegrates to form Pa with a mass number of 234, atomic number 91. So you can see the mass number remains the same, but the atomic number has increased by one. Therefore, this is one beta particle. Now it undergoes again disintegration. It forms U with a mass number of 234, atomic number 92. Again, one beta particle. Uh, again, it disintegrates to form uh, TH with a mass number of 230, atomic number 90. So you can see the mass number has reduced by 4. The atomic number has reduced by 2. Therefore, this is one alpha uh, particle. 230, 26, 90, 88, one alpha. 226, 222, 88, 86, one alpha again. 222, 218, 86, 84, 1 alpha, yeah. 218, 214, uh, and then 82, 1 alpha again, because the mass number reduces by 4, atomic number reduces by 2, 214, 214, 82, 83, 1 beta, 214, 214, 83, 84, 1 beta, 214, 210, 84, 82, 1 alpha, 210, 210, 82, 83, 1 beta. 210, 210, 83, 84, 1 beta. And then finally, it disintegrates from 210 to 206, 84 to 82. This is again uh, 1 alpha. Here we have a question on decay series. Study the decay series below uh, to answer the questions that follow. So here we have, uh, let us say we have a nuclide of A. It has a mass number of uh, 218, atomic number 84. It disintegrates uh, to form a B with a mass number uh, 214, right? Atomic number uh, 82. It disintegrates again uh, to form C with a mass number uh, 214, atomic number 83. It disintegrates uh, to form a D with a mass number uh, 210, atomic number 81. It disintegrates uh, to, form, to form E with a mass number uh, 206, atomic number uh, 79. So you can see here we have 218, it becomes 214, 84, 82. So here we have one alpha disintegration, 214, 214, uh, mass atomic number 82, 83. This is one beta, right? 214, 210, 83, 81. This is one alpha. We have 210, 206, 81, 80, 79. This is again uh, one alpha. Here we have step one. Here we have here we have step one, step two, step three, step four. So question here, you are told identify the particles emitted in step one. So in step one, what do you have? So the answer now here is we have uh, one alpha particle. That is, we have alpha. 
you have alpha particle step two step two what do you have we have one beta particle that is we have one beta particle right then you have to write a nuclear equation for the reaction which takes place in step three step three uh, we have c mass number of 214 atomic number 83 it disintegrates to form uh, to form d with a mass number uh, 210 uh, with atomic number 81 plus because it releases one alpha so it will be the form of alpha is helium with a mass number of four atomic number two so this is how we write uh, the nuclear equation for that A uh, half-life is the total time taken for an stable nuclide to decay to half its original mass. This is the formula to calculate half-life. So half-life is equal to total time taken divided by uh, number of period. So here we have question 1. 100 grams of radioactive nuclide uh, decays to 12.5 grams within 81 days. Calculate it is half-life. So here you are given the total time taken which is 81 days but you don't have number of periods so if you want to calculate number of period usually what we do is that we take the original which is 100 so we have this original we get a uh, 50 we have this 50 we get 25 we have this 25 we get to 12.5 we continue getting the half of the original until we obtain the remaining amount and then after doing that you have to now count the number of halves that you have so here we have half one, we have half two here, we have half three. So that only gives you the number of period. And because you have the total time taken, which is uh, 81 days, so now it will be 81 days divided by the number of period, which is three now. And the answer now becomes uh, 27 uh, days. So this is now uh, the half-life. Now question two, after 112 days, 6.25% uh, of the mass of the radioactive nuclide uh, Q remain. Calculate it is half-life. So how do you calculate half-life? We say, we say total time taken divided by number of period. Already we are given number total time taken, but we don't know number of periods. So for number of periods, what do you do? The original percentage was 100%. So you have this one, you get 50%. You have this one, you get 25%. You have this one, you get 12.5%. You have this one, you get 6.25%. And then from there, you count the number of halves that you have. So here we have one. We have two here, we have three, we have four here. Then the total time taken we are given, which is 112 days, uh, divided by the number of period, which is four, and therefore the half-life now becomes uh, 28 days. You have question three here. You are told after 112 days, one over 16 one over 16 of the original mass of the radioactive nuclide p remain calculated as a half-life so you are given the total time taken which is 112 days and then you are given the remaining amount is 1 over 16 what was the original the original was 16 over 16 which is 1 so here you have 1 you get half of 1 is uh, 1 over 2 half of 1 over 2 is 1 over 4 half of 1 over 4 is 1 over 8 half of 1 over 8 is 1 over 16 Right. See, this is how you get the number of periods. So how many periods do you have here? One, two there, uh, three, uh, four. So half-life now will be a uh, total time taken, which is 112 days, uh, divided by the number of periods, which is one. This is one, uh, two, uh, three, four. So the number of periods will be four. And therefore, the answer becomes uh, the half-life now will be 28 days. 28 days. Now from there we have calculations involving original and remaining amount. Now for you to calculate the original amount, then the formula now we use is original amount is equals to a remaining amount times 2 power n, where n is the number of periods. This 2 is constant, right? Original amount is equals to a remaining amount times 2 power n, where this 2 is constant, while n is the number of period. And how do you calculate the number of period? If you want to calculate the number of period, then you have total time taken and half-life. So you'll say total time taken uh, divided by half-life. What about for you to calculate remaining amount? The formula now will be uh, remaining amount 
is equals to original amount times a half half is 0.5 power n where n we said is the number of periods and for you to calculate n it will be total time taken divided by half life here we have now questions if three grams of radioactive nuclide whose half life is eight hours remained after a decay for that two hours calculate the original so do you have remaining amount yes remaining amount you are given which is three grams right uh, do we have half-life yes half-life we are given is eight hours okay do we have total time taken total time taken yes we have it is 32 hours then from there what do you need to do we have to get a number of period first so number of period will be number of period will be total time taken which is uh, 32 divided by half-life which is eight and therefore the answer now becomes Four. So the number of period is 4. Then from there, how do you calculate now remaining amount? You said if you want to calculate remaining amount, then, I mean, if you want to calculate original amount, then we say remaining amount, which is 3 times 2 power n, and our n is 4. Therefore, the answer becomes 48 grams. Now here we have question 2. 100 grams of radioactive nuclide decays to y grams. To decay is to y grams after 81 days calculate the value of y if it is half life is 27 days now this 100 gram is original amount we are given original amount so original amount is 100 uh, grams right uh, do you have uh, total time taken yes total time taken you are given total time taken is uh, 81 uh, days okay but about half life Half-life we are given is uh, 27 days. Now from there, how do you calculate? Because it decays to y grams, meaning y gram is the remaining amount. So how do you calculate remaining amount? You say remaining amount is equals to original amount, which is 100 grams, time is a half, right, power n. And how do you calculate the value of n? The value of n we said is the total time taken, which is 81, divided by 27. And that gives you 3. So it, here it will be power 3. And therefore the answer becomes 12.5 uh, grams. You can try this one. You have x grams of radioactive element. It takes 100 days to decay to, to decay to 20 grams. Calculate the initial. Initial means an original of x grams if the half-life is 25 days so you can try that one and you post in our comment section for more videos subscribe to our channel uh, thank you for watching